Breaking the wall of syphilis and Lyme disease. Pablo Rojas, Charité, Berlin. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for this invitation. I'm going to ask you to look at this video. And I'm going to ask you to imagine that these are your blood vessels. There's something wrong, right? Well, what you're looking at here, green I mean, right? Because we can see it. This, although was not taken in a human, it is an in vivo model of human pathogens. In this case, they belong to a family of bacteria called spirochetes. Spirochetes are responsible for causing diseases such as an STD called syphilis, with 12 million people getting infected every year, and a chronic illness called Lyme disease, with very complex um, clinical manifestations. So why are they green here? They're green here because we manipulated them so we can actually see them, and we can actually understand and track them how they are interacting with the vasculature. Why are we doing that? Because we have the idea that there must be an underlying process here. And this underlying process is bacterial dissemination. From the point of infection, they manage to reach distal tissue and also organs. And that is critical. Now, bacterial dissemination is really, really important. Why? Because it is a critical stage in something called disease progression. And that is our goal. The problem is, is that it is really poorly understood, and we don't know much about it. So if we manage to grasp any knowledge about its mechanism, we will be able to provide better vaccines, better treatment, and also drug delivery. So what we did is we looked at it on syphilis and also in Lyme disease. So we focused on, this, on these diseases because they have bacterial dissemination. We couldn't work, actually, with Treponema pallidum because we cannot grow it in the lab, so we work with Borrelia. It's also an spirochete. Borrelia causes Lyme, and we know that Lyme, you can get it if you get bitten by a tick that is infected with it. When we look at a closer level, we saw that attachment is mediated by addition. Addition of these microorganisms to the vascular surface. And that is mediated by adhesins. Adhesins, additions, and adhesins are proteins that are actually present in other microorganisms. So we decided to transform Borrelia and see what happens and make it produce these proteins in other microorganisms. We put it under the microscope and this is what we saw. We actually saw several stages in bacterial dissemination such as dragging, interaction, tethering, and maybe escape. Breaking the wall of syphilis and Lyme disease with intravital microscopy will actually help us break a bigger wall, the wall of bacterial dissemination. Thank you. Thanks.